Previously on AI The Somnium Files. What is this office? Good grief above. This isn't an office, this is a shop. It's a me, Marty no. This is <laughs> Nerd. You think it's, it's true that a Tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to ten square feet? They're all my husbands. Wait, what? What the hell? That's creepy. Excuse me, what the hell? Hello! And that's about enough of that. Masushita Diner, Saturday, 10:18 a.m. Alright, let's see what sort of nonsense is here. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. I'm sorry, we aren't open yet. Yeah, police business. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. Here, please. Oh, heavens no! I is my boy... I is Ota in trouble? Yeah, probably. Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. I mean, the fact that a Metropolitan Police Department person is here to ask some questions about your grandson, I'm assuming. You know, connect the dots. Two, 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 plus 2 equals 4. And you're Ota's... His mother. Uh, the way you're holding that knife doesn't give me the best kind of thoughts. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita, before we talk, could I make a request? Please put down the knife. Mm -hmm. Could you put that knife down, please? Yes, please put down the knife. Oh, goodness. Sorry. What are you about? Put the knife down on the table beside her. How much on the bet that knife is going to come up in the future? Oh, okay, so I can look around her. Her, this quaint little diner. Ah, yes, a beer ad. She's cute. Of course. You have zero standards, <laughs> Konami Doctor. If the computer in your head is telling you that you have no standards, then perhaps you should reevaluate those standards. Okay, cat. <laughs> what the hell? Are you unfamiliar with the superstition? Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. You know, I would have never guessed. Is that right? It's a TV. You think that thing gets any channels? Wow. Here's a look at uh, how anachronistic this game is, Cocky. Unlikely. I do not detect any tuners or antennas. We are looking at a CRT TV in a game where I have an AI in my eyeball. I want you to think about that for a moment. CRT TVs exist in the game. You're falling asleep, are you? Is it because of the music? That is the autograph of Iruka from Dark Zone Kalimas. Who? More menus, stuff, knife. Something is engraved on the handle. Zoom and enhance. Yeah, I know, the wall writing is garbage. It's just all filler. What is this? A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. And there's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Okay, what am I supposed to- Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. Excuse me? <laughs> he knows how much I love flowery designs. Yeah, I know, Kaki. It's a Japanese game. Just, I mean, it comes with the territory, you know? I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Fair enough. That's just the- thank goodness we have that. Otherwise, I- <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, well, I can still move the camera around even when I'm talking. Okay, cool. Here, let's talk. Uh, about the mother's order here. Tell me where's your Where's your- okay, where's your husband? I think he went to buy some ingredients. You know he comes and goes all the time without telling me. This is nothing new. Uh, about Shoko. Okay, do you know this lady? Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? No one. Is your son here? That boy. The hell? He's been hanging out at this office building lately. Okay. What kind of office? Oh, what was it? It's a place where irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. So an arcade. What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Ota wouldn't go to a place like no, that. No, you'd be surprised how young men, young men the age of 24 go to nowadays. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office. An entertainment company. Oh god, he's at TwitchCon! Uh, what's the name of the company? Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. 
okay, you don't know. Why does Oda hang out there anyway? <sighs> because there's a goddess there. A what? Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. A witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. <laughs> Just like that time, who was it, sold. Yeah. Entertainment. You see that box over there? What box? What box? Where? Oh, that box. The one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. The Twitch girl streamer who sells her bathwater online and gives people herpes. Do you want to see? It was delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. <laughs> she forces Oda to buy them. I know it. Yeah, well, like a look. Thank oh. you. Zooming in doesn't mean anything. It's a cardboard box. There's a delivery slip attached to it. Oh, okay, hold on. The sender is Great Grim. A popular online store. Oh, so something like Amazon. Or... Shopping. The product <laughs> description reads, solid model. It's a figurine! We should look and use the x-ray. Oh. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, young Japanese men. I know someone who would be greatly amused by this. Actually, hang on a second. Yeah, you're right, I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I. Now, what is this? A solid PVC model of a person, known as a figure. Yeah, no shit. Something's written on the base. Yeah, it's, it's a the set. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of X-ray vision should make them legible. Yes, yeah, it's, it's called a set. Yeah. Allow me to investigate. What the hell was that? Yeah, um... So is this witch working there? Yes. That good-for-nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. <sighs> Do you know her name? Uh, I'm assuming it's not witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the witch. The Wicked Witch of the West? Alright, I'm getting nowhere. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. You could just backtrace the delivery from that company called Great Grin, you know? Since they're a middleman career service, you should be backtracing the delivery to the original company. Yeah. You no. Know? There's something I would have done already. Can you call him? Call him? Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? I want food. I want McDonald's! No, we don't have- we don't need McDonald's. There's food already at home. He doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. Hmm. You can abandon this line of questioning, Date. Yeah. <laughs> Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Aha! Call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. I don't know, Kaki. I don't know. There is no connection. Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. <laughs> That'll be my best that guess. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal code. Or it could be, or he could be dead, you know. Date, I found some information about the figure. Okay. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. Hmm, I wouldn't have guessed. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnusgate. What sort of a name is that? Sorry, what? Yeah, my, exactly my reaction, Dante. I repeat, Lemnusgate. The lemon? Renju owns that company. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Connections! Correct. Uh, excuse me. Hold on, I'm gonna turn off the air cut. My feet are getting cold. Does the name Lemnusgate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. Okay. Iba, bring the car around. At once. You wait, your car has... Your car is computer driven? Um, is there anything else I can ask you? Nothing that matters. So let's go to Lemnusgate. Whatever the fuck that is. Okay, Lemnusgate, Saturday, 11.45 a.m. Let's, uh, let's have a look-see, shall we? That's him? 
That's him. Correct. Ah. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? Police. I'm from the MPD. <laughs> the police? Don't you dare run. Don't you dare. Oh, and he just goes back to Nanshaw while using his PC. <sighs> Lots of magazines in that rack. I am disappointed. Um, abstract painting. What is that supposed to be? I do not know. When a computer doesn't know what your abstract painting is supposed to be, you know you fail as an artist. Okay. What are you typing? Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? You know, I could just close the laptop and smash it like an ass, like an asshole police officer. But ya yeah, know, I'm trying to be polite here. So, could you look at me, please? No. I'm kind of busy right now. Last night. Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. I... I have only two words. Fucking millennial. All right, let's have a look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. He's an yes, SJW. Process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. This is the type of kid I hate the most. Yeah, it's the type of kid I hate the most too. Hey, look, are you a fan? How did you know that? Yeah, I know. I looked into the package you have on your table, you idiot. Because I'm psychic. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Date, wait. No! Any disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. God damn it. Then what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. <laughs> I don't even look in my direction. He's just typing around his laptop. Kick him! I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. Dosage of what? What? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi Fi. Gee, who would have guessed? And. I was curious, so I hacked into it. Oh, she and uh, such of a button like that, huh? Oh boy! Does Tessa refer to Aset? That is a popular fan nickname for her. Sure, it all sounds better than Aset. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. Ota, and, mm, yeah, it makes sense. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. Are you seriously? Oh my God! How how interaction deprived? Do you have to be to add, to talk to yourself on three different social, no, not three, four social media accounts? How? Wait, I know how. It's, it's just like the way you can have two different, you can own two different accounts on an MMORPG and play them at the same time on two different machines and have an argument with yourself. What? Optical Protein Fiber. Pongo Ponko and KG are all Ota's sub accounts. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. Why? This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. That's not a false flag operation. This kid is pathetic. Yes, he is. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Aset. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Yeah, it's a white knight simulation, cocky. He really is. Uh, 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 what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Um, I have a computer inside my eyeball that just hacked into your computer without telling you. I'm not quite worried about the legal uh, ramifications of such an act right now. Also, good god, that is a bare hallway. I just noticed. No other doors, it's just... Hallway, there's no elevator, there's no fire extinguishers, no signs, no windows, no plants, god. Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. I love that smug face though. That the smug face is it's so smug. I like it. I like smug cops when they are when they're doing this. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. About last night. I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Y yes Why were you in the area? I, um... Going home late at night, huh, kid? You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, everyone. Uh... Okay, okay, I'll talk. Just shh. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Meet someone? But the only person at Bloom Park at the time of the incident was also you and then the victim? Did you enter the park? Yes. Okay. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. Hey, that's the girl that was holding the ice pick. What Mizuki. Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. You were gonna Do date her. her? <laughs> Wait, no, that's bad. I don't make you. Oh, no. She's 12. <laughs> She's fucking 12. Kid. Why? Yeah, I know her. How did you know Mizuki? She's just a friend. Are you sure about that? Yeah, she better be. Yeah, <laughs> you're like double her age, mister. What? Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Okay, so you both are into the same thing. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. Oh, wait, no, because she's the daughter of someone famous. No wonder she's... No wonder she knows also someone equally famous. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. She's 12. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call it? Pedophilia. I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. Ugh, stalker. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. So let me assume there are studios above my head? Is that what you're telling me? There are me? multiple studios for recording and Fair broadcasting enough. in this. Tessa is recording a podcast today. Gee. Uh, ooh, let's, let's, let's ask him this spicy question. Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. That's like a new level of pathetic. Kid. Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and- That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? You all know jolly well he's gonna continue this even after we finish talking. And how do you know Mizuki? Con continue. Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Your work? Work? I write light novels. Ugh. Uh, uh, help me. I can only take writing that's, that's only so shitty. Help me. I have to suffer through another hour and a half of this crap. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That's... That is a lie. <laughs> Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Maybe he's a rising star? Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? Oh boy. My third eye can see through your bullshit. Yeah, the third eye that's colored yellow and also moving independently of my own face. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. Yeah, gee, figures. I'm an aspiring author to be exact. I know your pain. As, uh, I don't write light novels, but I do write. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. No, oh, gee, I figures. I get notes and advice from her. From a 12-year-old. From a 6th grader? Mm-hmm. She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Can you provide a detailed account of last night? This is the question she should be asking Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. Mm-hmm. She sounded scared. Oh. Oh. So she got- he got a call from Mizuki. He heard screaming, called the police, and bailed leaving her in that carousel place. Well, I mean, uh, for you guys that uh, didn't catch the start, um, the murder was in a uh, carousel, like an amusement park or something that's in the middle of this bloom park. Um, the victim was tied to a carousel horse, um, stabbed multiple times with an ice pick, and had their left eye removed while they were still alive. And in the center column of the carousel, normally we know where the murder is, that girl, Mizuki, was hiding inside holding the ice pick that was used as the murder weapon. And that's why, that's the whole premise of why we're here asking this kid what the hell is going on. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? Yeah, I do. I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. For, to murder her mother? But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile. Nile is a popular messaging ah. application for smartphones and PCs. Makes sense, it's kind of like Telegram. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Or the previous night. Who sent it? I don't know, but Mizuki was determined to go. Um, continue, please? What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. Okay. Okay, so you were with the prime suspect at the time of the murder, then?
and we don't know what happened to Mizuki. You, you left her there. Did you leave her there? You freaking coward. You left a 12-year-old girl by herself? In front of her dead mother, no less. I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. <sighs> it... Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make- This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? Um... She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like... me... <laughs> ah, the heartbreak. A 24-year-old dating a 12-year-old. Not only would that be severe social ramifications, you could get the person- You could get the, uh, the, uh, the older adult sent to jail because that's pedophilia. Her roommate would kill her. It's pedophilia- It's killing- This game makes me upset. Good girl. You're not even commenting on the- <sighs> Is no one here surprised? Whether is no one else here, like, not worried about the fact that a 24 year old young man is- well, I mean, of, he's right to be afraid, but he sounds like he's dating a 12 year old. <laughs> you have a cell phone. I tried using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. So your phone is in the park. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Idiot. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Ota's phone sent out? Near Bloom Park. Just past 9 p.m. Okay, yeah, corroborates. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. Mm -hmm.